So since you guys are such um, top level athletes, what did you look for when you were choosing a coach and you know, why did you decide to... We're going, to we're going right there. <laughs> <laughs> what is so good about, like, scatting my own guy? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm just, I'm, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what, what makes a good coach, and, and what, what are you looking for, and, you know, how has it helped you? I saw a couple of the guys gag my own coach when I was 18, 19, a few years ago, and one of them was totaling over 2,000, the other was a top three ranked 198 class, and I was like, wow, he's producing some quality lifters. And they stuck by him for quite a while. I mean, after some time, they went different ways due to life changes. One had a kid, and the other one, you know, they just parted ways. But that's what initially drew my attention to John. And then uh, another guy, Kevin Oak, he's uh, a great two, he's uh, actually the all time record holder, 220 lifter, who. Well, about a second now, but. Second now. But not too good. Yeah, <laughs> he's doing pretty good. And he's occasionally in 242. I mean, he lives out in the Bronx. And when I met him, just a couple weeks later, he brought me over to this gym just for a workout session. Like, I crashed a stand up for Dane seminar. And <laughs> I just saw the gym, and from coming from, where was I coming from? Uh, Coliseum Gym and a couple of commercial gyms I would occasionally go in and out of. This gym had everything I could ever hope and dream of, and it was convenient. You know, um, I was living in the Bronx in Manhattan, I still am right now, and the community could be a little lengthy, but that's why I'm looking for in a coach. Like, the, how good are the athletes that he's coached and where is he located? Will I be able to actually train with him face to face? Because I know like the other guys, like uh, Chad was especially Smith, for example, but out of California, like he'll never be able to coach me face to face while he may coach other great lifters online. Like I like hands on training. So that's just my first shot. Maybe uh, you talk also about you know, uh, like how you felt as far as like um, having someone actually handle you at the meets that you, that you did like recently too? Yeah, and John, um, since day one, he's been working with me. He's always been the brains of everything I do, from training to picking my attempts at the meet. And if he left up to me to pick my attempts, I likely would have bombed out or really underperformed, maybe going six for nine or something, because I always think I, I always overestimate myself. And John has, does great at picking really smart attempts. And uh, also, um, when uh, you're at, you said uh, top level, and other guys are literally neck and neck, and it's just attempt to attempt, and you know there can be like. Uh, was like a few points in the Wilkes for best lifter. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's up to John to determine how much I'm going to need on the last deadlift to win best lifter or to beat the other guy in the 242. What am I going to need to pull? And John, that's John's job. He's just great at it. So. Um, for me, it's definitely like a couple of things. First, obviously, like you have to look at the athletes they've produced and not even just like are they hitting good numbers in the gym how well are they actually like peaking for their meet because that's that's all that like you really care about at this point is how am I going to do on that one day like I'm spending 22 weeks prepping into the, to prep for this one day like so you want to see like are they producing results for like all level athletes you know like beginner intermediate advanced um, so like that's one thing that I look for in person just like a track record um, you know who have the people that they've been working with, have they made improvements? Or, because like I know a lot of coaches who just kind of bring on already strong athletes and then they're like, look, I'm coaching this really strong person, but in reality, their numbers are pretty much just like stagnant. So like clearly whatever they're doing or something's off, you know what I mean? Um, and then the other, probably the biggest thing for me that which is why I like asked John to coach me um, is just mindset. Um, and just like attitude about lifting in general. Um, I've had coaches in the past that like our mindsets just haven't matched up and it, it hasn't worked out for that reason. Um, he's all about like longevity, um, you know, doing it the right way and like, the quick way, which is always how I've approached all of my training. Um, where like I've had coaches in the past where it's like, it's all out all the time, you know, like, you know, you have to give it everything you fucking got. Um, you know, just to, because they want you to look good in this one meet. Um, they don't really care about your well-being, which is honestly so true for so many coaches. Like, they just want to look good for themselves and they don't actually care about their lifters' well-beings. Um, so that's like, honestly, the biggest thing I look for is just someone to have your back. Um, but like John was saying before, like, you can, there's no magic programming. If you like actually really follow programming and you do it with intention and you are, you know, putting in the time and you're putting in the thought process to that programming, you're going to see results. Um, so it's more just like, for me, like, do our attitudes match up? Um, 
you know, and, and it, does he have my best interest in mind, essentially? Cool.